G'day everyone, welcome to Lubrication Explained. In this video we're going to talk about the phenol antioxidant family. And specifically, we're going to talk about the mechanism by which they act, and the synergy between phenolic and aminic antioxidant packages. Really important uh, to understand this uh, mechanism, especially when it comes to uh, gas turbines and steam turbines. All right, so as we talked about in a previous video, this is the auto oxidation cycle, and we can interrupt the oxidation of a base oil and its, uh, and its additive package by targeting um, different radical species and neutralizing them. The phenolic and aminic antioxidant packages target these uh, specific radicals, um, and neutralize them. And we saw in a previous video how the aminic antioxidant package is able to sort of intercept roughly uh, 12 different radicals for each uh, amine molecule. Now the phenols act in a slightly different way. So the phenols look a little bit like this. And if you had a radical come along, effectively it's going to donate a proton. And it will turn into this steric hindered radical and there's a bit of a resonance that goes on right where the uh, where the, the valence electron can sort of move around a little bit if we have another radical come into contact or come into the vicinity of this particular uh, phenol then it can attach itself and become neutralized in that way so now let's talk about amines and phenols and how they work together. So again, when we talked about the aminic antioxidants, uh, we talked about uh, diphenylamine, which is a very common uh, type of aminic antioxidant. And the way that it acts is that when you have a radical come into the system, it will turn ADPA into an aminyl radical which will sacrifice a hydrogen uh, and it will enable uh, that radical to be neutralized. Now, if we were to have a phenol come into the system, what it can then do is donate a hydrogen to restore the amine back to its natural state. So this is what we call phenol amine synergy. What it means is that the phenolic antioxidant package sacrifices itself to boost the aminic antioxidant package. And you get the return of amines. Now, as we knew before, amines tend to be a little bit more powerful in their capacity to neutralize radicals than phenols are. So phenols tend to, uh, as we saw in this mechanism, uh, are able to neutralize about two uh, radicals at any one time, whereas the the aminics are able to do up to twelve. So it's it's beneficial for the phenol system to kind of sacrifice itself for the amine system. Why is this particularly important for gas turbines? Well, the ruler test, which is the remaining useful life evaluation, um, will kind of record two different signatures based on. Uh, the original lubricant and the used uh, lubricant. And these two peaks refer to, the first one is the, the amine peak, and this one is the phenol peak. Uh, sorry, other way around, phenol peak and the amine peak. And what you'll tend to see is that the phenol degradation will happen first. So your phenols will drop off, and then after the phenols have dropped off, that's when the amines will start to drop off. So it's helpful to understand why it is that the two results in the ruler test don't match up, right? So again, just to stress that, phenols are going to drop off first, and even if your phenols go to zero, you still have the aminic antioxidant package left, and the aminic antioxidant package tends to be, quote-unquote, more powerful than the phenol one is. So it's not until the amines have depleted that the oxidation of... Um, your your turbine oil could become uh, problematic and you'll start to see runaway oxidation. 
All right, really quick video today. Hopefully that explains a little bit about the synergy between phenol and aminic antioxidants and what that means for used oil analysis. If, as usual, if you've got questions and comments, please leave them below. These have been Lubrication Explained.